Welcome everyone. So I've started this initiative and basically I have Tyron and Keita with me today and we're going to basically speak about each other's journeys. I'm going to ask them a few questions just in the hope that it might get through to people on a more personal level given the lockdown and just the disconnect that a few students might be feeling at the moment. Okay, so I can bring Tyron and Keita up now. Hello guys. Hey Sam, how are you? Yeah, hi. Uh, so I think let's just get straight into this. I don't want to keep it the students too long if they do watch this. So I don't know who wants to go first, but basically the first question I'm going to ask you guys uh, for both of you is what made you choose the CTA route? And when did you know this was the right path to take? Um, I don't know if ladies want to go first. No pressure. Okay, um, I'll take this one first. So for me, it was um, I went to a Deloitte evening when I was in the trick because I wanted to do something in maths. And my mom was like, and I'm only going to make money in maths. You can either be a teacher or an academic. And I was like, no, but I want to use a bohemian life. And she was like, so she was like, okay, well, you can do actuarial. So then I went to a Deloitte evening because I was like, okay, well, I might as well look at it. And then there, they were talking about that I mostly met CAs. And it, it was like a complete change for me because I always had this idea of an accountant as some boring person sitting behind a desk. But the people I was meeting at Deloitte were these like vibrant, alive people, 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 and they like had completely forgotten all about accounting, the like theory, theory of accounting and they were like interacting with people and they were really awesome. So that's when I was like, this this can open my opportunities and it's great for traveling and that's all stuff that I wanted to do. So that's kind of when I knew. Is everyone still vibrant, Keita? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Sergio and, and Fosio, definitely not. I think that's when, when you think everyone is dead. <laughs> And you, Tyron? Um, so for me, I have a, a very unusual journey with this. Um, so I, I went to like quite a high end school and I was actually the top accountant there. And I used to chat with all my mates, all my teachers there. And they were like, no, go CA route, CA route, CA route. And I told them, and I was like, there's not a chance. I'm, I'm not doing that. That's, that's not me. That's not who I am as a person. There's no ways. Um, but I had no idea what else I wanted to actually do. So I even I even took a gap year off. Um, I took a year off studying, did some traveling, just trying to like figure out what it was exactly what I wanted to do. And by the end of the gap year, I, I had no other option and I needed to start studying. So I was like, you know what, let me give this a try. I've heard some good things and I don't regret it for one for one second. It's 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 a tough, a tough four years, but a good four years. And um, like a lot of hard work, but at the end of the day, it, it's really rewarding and you end up having a degree uh, that has a big name behind it. Um, and it's just it's just very like a very like heartwarming feeling at the end of the day. Yeah, I get you. I think you and I had the same little introduction to CTA. <laughs> yeah. uh, also, I, I was also one of the top accountants and it, it just felt as if everyone was pushing you into it and getting to it, it's a lot different. And it's like Keita was saying, it's a lot, very vibrant people. I, I like going to the firms, it's really fun. Um, okay, I'm going to start the next one with Tyrant. How important would you say mindset was getting through this degree? And how did you maintain your confidence throughout it? Um, I think having a good mindset is very important um, for this degree. So um, I'm going to say I'm, I was fairly lucky um, with a lot of things. I was quite a bright student, I always had a good exam technique, I could read and write quickly, I was never under time pressure. So I had all those factors going for me. But I think the most important, the most important two things I can point out was the, the, the routine I had when I was studying in that is I'd always, A, for me sleep was the most important. Um, no matter what it was, I'd never stay up past nine o'clock studying. Um, you know what I mean? I think it's always good and it's always healthy to to take a couple of hours before going to bed just to unwind, just to clear your thoughts so you're not thinking about uh, about work all the time. And the second thing for me was just to have something away from studying. 
Um, so I used to coach sports, and that was always my break from studying. So, I, like, I, it was my way of earning money. So it was a forced way of me having to take a break. And looking back on it, I think it was it was a very necessary break that I needed every day because um, a you have less time in the day to study. So during that time, you focused more, and then also it does give you both mentally and physically a break from the studying. Um, so yeah, yeah. I get that. Um, and then Keita, I have a different question for you. Mm-hmm. And it's actually, it's like what Tyron was saying, it's to do with routine. Uh, what's your opinion on routine and structure and how, does it bore you or, or do you find that it helps you a bit more? So um, actually there's, there's two things about that. Firstly, uh, I've tried the whole study routine thing where you like set out a little timetable for you yourself and I absolutely hated it. I literally felt like I was bossing myself around and and I just rebelled. Like day two I rebelled. So that didn't work for me. So um like specifically scheduling my time was like a no no. Um but actually like the day rhythm, like I need like a certain rhythm to my day to be most productive. So um actually during a day there are things that that I need to get done um, and I know that if I do those then it'll help me so like in the morning when I wake up I like to wake up at a reasonable time and then I start my day off with yoga because if I start my day off with yoga even if I'm pressed with time I know that the, that day is going to be productive whereas if I'm like no I'm too rushed to do yoga and everything then the whole day I try and work, but then like I get distracted and you know, like you work, but you're not actually productive. So routine is super important for me. And um, same thing as tire and sleep as well. Getting to bed at a reasonable time when you're trying to be productive is really important. Yeah, so basically what I'm getting from both of you is, um, especially during this time where a lot of people use going to fits as their routine. And I think now more than ever, kind of forcing yourself into a routine. So like yoga for you. Um, I think that's what students can take away from that is making your own routine now and kind of just getting into a rhythm is the most helpful. So like taking Tyron sleeping at nine o'clock, Keita's waking up and doing something that might help you. So for me, it was um, I would always try bake bread. Uh, that was my routine and got me into studying. And, yeah, and it would, I found if I bore myself into studying, it actually helped me more than if I did something that was fun almost. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, just take that away from it. And I'm not saying bread is boring, it's, it was actually quite fun in the end. Um, okay, now, okay, the next one's for Keita. If this is more of a fun one. So if you could live anywhere in the way in the world, where would it be and why? If I could live anywhere in the world. Yeah. Well, I must say that is mostly why I want, I got into this degree is so that I can travel to lots of places and spend a bit of time there so I can see where I actually want to live and if I want to immigrate. Um, but I guess it depends the day you ask me, but since you asked me today, I feel like living in Japan because it's just so beautiful there and, you know, I don't know. I, I'm thinking about cherry blossoms because I'm cold and I want mm-hmm. spring to come, so I'm thinking about Japan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I like Japan. It's quite cool as well. Um, okay, a different one for Tyron. Uh, do you have any guilty pleasures? <laughs> I have a few girls. I don't know what what he described as a guilty pleasure. I mean, I eat a lot of sweets. I eat a lot of chocolates. I eat a biscuits. Biscuits is my biggest guilty pleasure. Um, I I eat packs and packs of biscuits, um, without a doubt. I'd say that's that's definitely the biggest guilty pleasure I have. I once once I start, I can't stop until the packet's finished. I feel you. <laughs> yeah. I, uh... My family knows that if the biscuits are missing, we know who's looking. Yeah. It's gotten so bad point. Whenever I visit my mom's house, because my parents are lost, but whenever I visit my mom's house, she's she's actually got a hiding spot for biscuits just for my brother to not get them because she knows that I'm gonna have them. 
Yeah, so, okay, those are all the questions, like specific questions I have for you guys today. Um, just as like a last step, is there anything you you want to say to the students to help them? Um, just uh, maybe like a minute or so. Uh, Tyron, I think you can go first. Um, like the only advice, really, the biggest piece of advice, I think, is just is just sometimes I think in this degree we get very overwhelmed. There's a lot going on, a lot of knowledge we're consuming. Um, we feel like we're under pressure a lot of the time. I think you sometimes you just need to take a step back and realize that the first of all we're in this degree because we're we're intelligent people and we're capable of doing this. Um, so we need to take a step back, just breathe, just relax, just calm down, um, and just just almost back yourself that you know what you're doing. You know, you've got to work hard, you've got to study hard, you've got to, you know, time, manage your time well and everything like that. This all comes, um, this is all necessary to, to do well in this degree. Um, but everyone in this degree is capable of doing that. And sometimes I think we just, we put ourselves under too much pressure and we just get, let the, the pressure get to us. Instead of just taking a step back, just relax, stay calm, um, you know, almost reset, reset your mind frame and then go again. Mm. Yeah, that's that's a really good piece of advice, especially given that a lot of the students are going to the June break now. Yeah. So I think this is definitely the perfect time to just reset. Um, Keita, anything from you? Um, yeah, I think for me, two things. So um, firstly, to go back to the whole routine thing, um, you really just got to find what works for you. Um, so like with me, the timetable thing that really didn't work. But the routine thing did so i'd always go to this at like seven o'clock and then i'd make sure i'd work from seven o'clock to five o'clock whatever i was doing that day but my friend like he he couldn't work at those times and he needed a schedule to be able to know okay he's getting this done on this day and that so you really just got to find what works for you and the rhythms that work for you and then go with that and back yourself as tyron says it's really yeah. important and then the other thing that really, really helped me was um, just human contact. And I think that's the massive thing that we're missing now with this whole COVID thing. Um, because I spent like most of first year being like, no, I'm here to study. Like I'm not here to be like make friends or anything. I can tell you first year was like one of the hardest years of my life because I was just so alone. And then from second year, that's when I actually like people started coming up to me and like making friends with me, even though I was like, no. And um, from then on, just because they knew what I was going through and I had someone to talk to, I had someone to ask, um, that really, really helped me. And also in second year, I started consulting. Second and third year, I started consulting and that made so much of a difference. So I think students really need to know that if they need any kind of support or like just a chat on how to stay, schedule themselves or what works or any help with content, like. They really mustn't be scared to contact us ATs and um, yeah, we can make a plan together. Yeah, We're all in I definitely team. agree. <laughs> um, and just to add your point, Keita, uh, that's actually something I said in uh, the first uh, few of my tutorials at the beginning of the year. Just don't be afraid to make friends with people in your course. Um, might be a bit hard now with the lockdown, but I was actually quite a cool thing that we were doing at the beginning is we made uh, teams meetings and like a few of my friends and I were playing online games together, but not like proper PC games like Scribble and we we're playing Cards Against Humanity online and that was quite fun and we made that every Thursday. So I think that something that the students can start doing is just start having teams meetings with a bunch of you guys and just have a chat, like catch up. Yeah, yeah. Thanks guys. Uh, I really appreciate that. And I hope the students do too. Yeah. Uh, okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Yeah. Wait, don't leave yet. <laughs> <laughs>